Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, um, it's kind of testing new makeup, but I actually filmed this video yesterday and it was a disaster. I hated everything about it and I don't think I want to like waste my time editing that video even though I do like to show when things don't go the way you plan. I just think it might be more helpful for me to just refilm it and try those products a different way just to see um, what happened. I don't know. Uh, let's just let's just get into it. So I already have my um, Tatcha, the pearl under eye treatment, so I don't forget. But that's not new, it's just something I'm trying to use up because it's getting old. And I think I have a hair in my eye. I also tried in that video to film from a different angle, um, like head on with my tripod and it did not work because my mirror was covering my face most of the time. So that's just not gonna happen. We're gonna have to just deal with this. So let me get started. So the first thing I did was go in with my Rare Beauty Illuminating Primer. This I've used before, but only like a few times, and now it's in my Shop My Stash, so I'm getting more use out of it. So I just took one pump, like so. And this primer is very illuminating. Um, I think if you have oily skin, maybe you wouldn't want to put it all over your face. Um, you can use it just in the high points, like where you would put your highlighter. But for me, um, because I have dry skin and I'm actually going to go in with a powder foundation, um, I don't mind it everywhere. So the concealer I want to use is my Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin. Um, so yesterday I used this over the powder foundation and it was fine that wasn't the issue it's just that i'd rather t i'd rather spot conceal before putting the fat i can't talk today <laughs> i'd rather spot conceal before putting the powder foundation on so that i know like how much coverage i need it's better like that so this concealer is so thick it's almost like a gel texture and um, this shade is fine for my face, but for under eye, I would like to have a lighter shade. Um, I have the shade 2.3, but I don't think I like it for under my eye anyways. So I'm not gonna buy like a concealer that I don't like just because I don't have the right shade. <laughs> I should say, it's not that I don't like this concealer, but under the eye, it's like very tricky for me to use. I think I just have to use the smallest amount because it really settles like into my fine lines, which is weird because it's such a thick texture. And normally I only have that issue with um, like those serum -y type concealers. So I don't know why it does that, but let's see what happens today. So of course I forgot to wet my sponge so I'm gonna use my Rare Beauty foundation brush to blend this in. I will say this concealer blends very easily and smoothly. I just wish it worked better under my eyes. I prefer my Too Faced um, Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer for under eye. Okay, so that's blended. Um, I might put more later. Let's just see how much coverage I get from the powder foundation. So, you guys know if you watch my other videos, this is not really that new to me. Um, it's just that I had two shades of this. So this one is the shade R220. And I was using Y215, I believe. So the R220 is just like 
it ha our scents are red, so it has more like a pink undertone. Well, I guess it's supposed to be red, but you know what I mean. And I use this with my new e.l.f. powder foundation brush, which I really like. Where did I put it? So this brush here, it's just a like a dense flat brush. It's not too dense though, which I think is why I like it because it allows me to just get um, a smooth application and not disrupt any other product underneath. So I'm just gonna go in with that. And um, I think this shade is a bit too light for me actually. It gives me quite like a, a pale vibe. So I think you can tell like um, it doesn't look powdery. And I would say it's probably because I used the illuminating primer, but I've used this powder foundation with other primers and it still looks really nice on the skin. So I think even if you have dry skin, you would like this. So here's the part <laughs> where everything might go wrong. I'm gonna put a bit of this under my eyes and I'll see what happens. I really did not like how it looked yesterday. It looked very crepey. So I just put like the smallest amount and I'm gonna use my new Rare Beauty um, concealer brush. This one here, which I really like. So that gave a bit of coverage, but I do need some more. No, I think I don't. I really don't like this under my eyes. I think it's just too dry and it doesn't mix well with um, other product maybe. Although yesterday I did not have the Tatcha underneath and I still didn't like it so I don't, I'm not gonna blame it on that. Yeah, it's just crepey. I don't think you can really even tell on camera but I can see it in person. So. I won't be using that concealer under my eyes, probably going further, but I find it's fine on my face. Um, I'm going to go in with my Becca Under Eye Brightening Setting Powder, which I, I don't know, I probably shouldn't do that because it's already looking quite dry underneath, but I just want to see if this adds any extra coverage because I don't want to put any more concealer on and when I apply this product I put like very little on the brush I I basically put the the brush in but then I tap any excess back in to the component so that it's not like super powdery well I don't think that made it look much worse than it already did <laughs> Oh dear. Well, at least I gave it a shot because I wasn't, the reason I put it in my shot, my stash is because I wasn't sure how I felt about it. But now I know like I've tried it many different ways now and it's just not my favorite. So yeah. What I'm going to do now, I guess I'll just continue with the face makeup. So I wanted to use my Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronzing Glow. This here that I got for Christmas. Um, I'm using this Royal and Lang Nickel Moda brush. There's no number on it because I'm pretty sure I got it in a set from BoxyCharm. So I'm gonna go into this sculpt shade, which is very light. Like if you're any, if you're medium skin tone, I feel like this would probably not do anything for you because even on me, it's very subtle. It, I do like the shade though. It's, but like I said, very subtle. It just gives some color. 
but it's I like it because it's not too cool tone. Um, like a lot of contour powders for that are meant for like fair light skin usually look quite gray. So I like that this one has a bit of warmth. I mean, it's still pretty cool, but it does warm up my complexion. I think I want to put the highlight on after my blush um, because it, again, this is also more like a subtle highlighter. It's not going to be super beaming, so I don't want my blush to like just overpower it because I'm using a deeper blush. So it's um, from the Catrice and Iman Cheeky Blush Palette. This shade here, Luxor. It's, it looks quite orange, actually. I guess it's like a terracotta type color. And I really like it. I just have to go in with a light hand because it's quite pigmented. Like, see? That was like the smallest dab that I did. And it kind of reminds me of my uh, Rare Beauty liquid blush in the shade Love. I'm pretty sure that's the shade I have. Maybe this one is a bit more orange, but it's like that terracotta shade that I actually really like. And if you're new here, yes, I put my blush everywhere. <laughs> I put it like all across my face here. I know some people put blush up here, like almost where they put bronzer but higher. But for me, I don't think that suits my face because I have a round face. It looks better when I focus products in the middle, I guess. So that's the blush. I really like it. I love like anything like orange and peachy. I guess I just love like warm, warm shades is what I'm trying to say. And now I'll go back in with the highlight from the Charlotte Tilbury Bronzing Glow. Like I say it's subtle, but you can really see it still. I guess it's just not like metallic is what I mean. It's not like um, an ABH glow, if you know what I mean. So there's the highlight. I really like it. I think I'll get a lot of use out of this because even if I'm not doing like a full makeup look, I feel like I can still use this and it will not look too crazy. I really like this product actually. So I guess now we'll go in with the eyeshadow and I'm a bit scared <laughs> because this did not work out for me yesterday. I used the hip dot, this word, C note, I don't know how to say it, palette. Um, I got it in a boxy charm. I love this color story. I love blue and green eyeshadow. But I used these three shades here. I thought I could do a gradient, like I would go like from the this lighter shade in my inner corner and then this shade in the middle and this one on the outer. But all three of these shadows are different formulas it seems. Or yeah, like different textures and they did not blend together. It just looked really weird and also, when I put my setting spray on, which is my fault, I like sprayed it directly over my eyes and as soon as I like opened my eyes, all the shadows creased. And that was even with my Urban Decay Primer Potion on, which usually works really well. So I don't know if it's the formula or what's going on. So I decided I'm going to give this palette another chance. Um, and maybe go in with different shades. I want to do something different, but I don't know. I feel like I need more practice like when I'm not filming before I try to do something crazy because then I just hate how it looks. <laughs> 
But I will put this primer potion on again. I feel like this is already getting dry and it, there's still so much product in it. Okay, maybe I just needed to really get in there. I think what I want to do today is more like a halo eye. Um, I do really want to use the blues though, so... But I think I'll start with the shade Ojos, Ojos, I'm sorry I don't speak Spanish, but um, yeah, this like brown shade here. Just to put down something first. I'm just using my color switch to clean this, this brush off. So I'm kind of just putting this everywhere to start. And I'm just going to do one eye and see how I like it before I finish both. And then I'm going to take a smaller brush like this one and I'm going to go in with the shade Subsurface which is this deeper brown shade um, like right in the crease here. Oh, I the wrong eye. Oh dear. So far the mats are blending pretty well. kind of want to bring that more in the inner corner too. If I'm going to do a halo eye. So I have my base down and then on the lid I do really need to use those blues again. I think I'm going to go in with the shade Tulum. Is that how you say that? I hope so. This like deep teal shade. And from what I gathered from using this palette yesterday, I'm gonna use my finger with this. Oh. Hmm, that's pretty. It's like a very deep blue, but it has like teal and light blue sparkle in it. I like this shade. So I'm going to go back in with this smaller brush and I want to blend that, sort of make it look more seamless with the browns with this spirit shade, which is kind of like in the same family as this one, but it's a matte. So I'm just going like on the edges of where I applied that shade. I think I might need to wet the shimmer because it's kind of getting blended. And then I'm gonna go back in with the shade Ojos and kind of blend that all together. Yeah, I'm definitely going to wet that Tulum shade. So I'm going to go in with this flat brush. And then I'm going to spray it with my Milani Make It Dewy. Normally I'd use Fix Plus, but I don't have that with me right now. And I want to use the setting sprays that I have, so... Ooh, yeah. So that's going on a lot better with when it's wet. You can, yeah, you can definitely see that's very pigmented now. So I'm just going back in with Ojos. Because I, I want to try and like... I don't want the blue to go all the way to the outer corner. But it's hard to blend the mattes on top of the shimmer. Let me try the shade Subsurface, the deeper one. Yeah, it's kind of, I'm kind of having the same issue that I did yesterday where like all the shad, the shads, <laughs> all the shades in this palette are like different textures that don't really blend together. It's very strange. Um, or I'm just bad at makeup. 
that's also quite possible. <laughs> um, yeah, I just, I don't know. I don't really like how this is turning out again, but I do like it better than I did yesterday. But I just can't, like, I can't get this to deepen up now. I guess I should have done that before going in with the damp shade in the middle. Okay, I'm just going to stop <laughs> with that. And there is like a lighter brown shade in this palette, this shade Bedrock. I just want to blend the edge up here into the brow bone with that shade. But this is not like a highlighting shade for me because it's still quite beige. So I'll probably go in with something else after. And for the lower, I want to do just the browns. So I'm going to find a smaller brush like this one here. First I'll go in with Ojos, which is that middle brown shade. And then a bit of subsurface, the deeper one, just on the edge here. And that's really all I want to do for now. Do I want to use the shade Rain for my inner corner to keep it blue? I think I do. Yes. So I'm going to go in with my little inner corner brush that I use. See, this one is more soft, like not soft, but it's more smooth when I apply with the brush. So it applies quite well um, and I don't need to dampen it. Whereas like the chunkier, more metallic shades in this palette, like this one and this one, they need some, they need like some dampness to make them stick to the eye. So I'm going to do the other eye off camera and try to make it look the same <laughs> and then I'll be back. Okay, so this is what I came up with. It's not a halo eye anymore <laughs> because um, I kind of just blended that um, Tulum shade. It kind of just went like really far when I blended it and then I used the matte spirit um to blend that out so now it's just blue like across the whole lid <laughs> with brown um in the crease and upward so i don't know i really like these two shades i'm just having trouble with this palette blending the colors together. So I don't know if any of you guys got this palette in your boxy charm or if you bought it from hip dot um, Let me know if you're having trouble with it as well or if I'm just not good at blending <laughs> Which I'm not I'll admit Like every every look that I do on this channel is new to me. So Yeah, but um I do like how it turned out I'm much better than yesterday, that's for sure. Um, but what I remembered when I was um, dampening my brush is this is the setting spray that creased those shadows yesterday. So I, I hope that's not going to happen again. We'll see. And I did just blend out the shades on my brow bone with the bedrock shade. And I used any excess like from the inner corner highlight from Rain. I put just a touch on the very like middle of my brow bone. So that's all that that is. And now I'm just going to do my brows and mascara. And I don't have anything new for that. I showed you in my last video, I believe, that I did get the milk clear brow gel. It's okay. I don't think I like it that much, but I'm not mad because I got it from the boxy pop-up for like six dollars, so that's okay. But anyway, I'll do that off camera as well because it's the same thing I do in every video 
and um, yeah, we'll come back for the lip. So I have my mascara on. Um, I guess if you haven't seen any of my other videos, I'll just mention it quickly. So I put the Voluminous Primer on and then the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. And on my bottom lashes, I have the Wet n Wild Mega Length. And this is the brow gel. I was talking about the Kush Clear Brow Gel. I don't, I think my issue with this is the brush. It's so small. Like, it's the smallest brush and the bristles are very short. So it doesn't like lift my brow hairs as much as I like. And yeah, I don't know. I don't love it. I need to like find a better brow routine. But anyway, that's that. Um, oh, and I forgot that I wanted to use my... Makeup Forever Aqua Resist Smoky Shadow in the shade Earth. So yesterday I tried to use this to do a wing. It's not like super precise because it is really like a shadow stick. But so I tried to do a wing and then blend it with um, like a liner brush, like something like this. But it dries down so quickly that I could barely move it. So I think what I'm gonna do with this is just use it on the waterline for now. Maybe I'll try it in the future as like a, a shadow base, but it is quite like, it's a dark shade. So if you put it down and then you can't blend it, that could be an issue. Um, but I guess that's what makes these waterproof because they are from the aqua resist line. The fact that they dry down like almost immediately. <laughs> that's how they stay waterproof. I'm just using this brush to, <laughs> to move my eye down if you're wondering. So that just gives like a, another, some more depth, I guess. Uh, I'm not going to attempt to put it on the upper waterline, that scares me, so that's all I'm going to do with this. For the lip, all I did, okay, well, I tried something and it didn't go well. I tried to use one of my new liquid lipsticks from Half Caked that I got in my BoxyCharm in this shade Theme Song because I thought it was going to be like a lighter rosy nude but it went on very dark and then with the blue coupled with like the the bright blues it just did not look good so it probably would look better with the shades I use today but I just want to use my Bite um, Yay Sayer lip gloss again um, this is the shade Guava Puff I just really like this kind of shade with blue and I really like this. This might be my new favorite lip gloss. So you twist it up and it comes out of the tip. And this is like a silicone, but it's harder, like an applicator. Um, it, yeah, it just feels really nice. It's not sticky, it's not too like gloopy. Which I found the other, the last lip gloss formula they had was very gloopy, if you know what I mean. Uh, so I like this one a lot better. It's super shiny too. The only thing is, um, you're always going to be left with some product on the tip here. So I just use a tissue and I wipe it off each time because I don't want it to get all gross but yeah and these actually taste good like if you get some in your mouth it has like a sweet taste and there's cinnamon oil in these it is called a plumping gloss but I don't find I don't think they meant like a buxom like it's not tingly but it does um, over time I found that it did like smooth my lips out because I feel like the formula is hydrating as well so I really like this I mean, if I didn't have so many lip products, I'd probably get other shades, but I don't need any. 
Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna put the Milani Make a Dewy, and this time I'm going to cover my eyes, I guess just with my hand, because I don't want to ruin all the shadow. Because this is super wet, like the spray is very intense on this. And it had a cap, but for some reason it didn't fit anymore, like it was loose, so I just got rid of the cap. But anyway, this is the setting spray that's in my shop, my stash. And I do, I do find it makes me look dewy, which is good. So yeah, that's it. This one a lot better than it did yesterday. <laughs> what I learned is, well, First of all, those shadows have quite a bit of fallout. Um, you could do your eyes first to avoid that issue, but I don't like doing that. I just find, whenever I do my eyes first, I don't like how my makeup turns out. I don't know why. It's like I need to have the base down before I do the eyes to really get the whole look going. Anyway, so yeah, I see some like blue specks of glitter on my face but um yeah i think my favorite things are definitely the blush which is funny because it, this was a sample <laughs> so i really like this though um i've only used this shade so far but the other shades look really nice too and these three are all matte shades and this one is more shimmery so i'll keep using this and so yeah, the lip gloss, the blush, I I love the Makeup Forever powder foundation. I mean, you can't even tell that I'm wearing a powder foundation. It looks like a liquid. Um, the concealer is a no-go for under eyes, I've come to realize. But on the face, I do really like how it blends out very easily and it looks smooth and it doesn't enhance any like dryness or anything so that's why I'm a bit confused as to why it doesn't work so well under my eyes but anyway that's my thoughts on this and yeah I guess that's it because everything else was not a new product I hope you like this video maybe it was helpful ew I had this blanket on my chair the whole time oh well <laughs> Um, maybe, yeah, you found it helpful. If you liked it, give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!